Hey, Motorcycle.com viewers. We're here with a new 2021 Honda Rebel 1100. I'm pretty impressed. I didn't know if I was gonna be. I was pretty impressed by the, by the Rebel 500 that we had the other day. Uh, that was a great, great little bike, actually. Uh, this one's twice as big. It's got the, the parallel twin from the Africa twin. I believe it's 1087 cc's and it scoots out. It's tuned a little bit differently than the Africa twin to have a little bit, bit more low and mid RPM. Uh, on, on, on the street, the thing's a blast to ride. They've kind of gone a different direction like every other Honda Cruiser I've ridden over the years. They're usually trying to make some kind of a, some kind of a, a, a fake Harley Davidson but I think they've kind of, kind of finally figured out that um, people who want a Harley want just want a Harley. So they've kind of gone their own way with this one. Uh, it looks a little bit different. It doesn't, it doesn't have any fake cooling fins or anything like that. Uh, it's also got, as an option, their excellent, excellent six-speed dual-clutch transmission, which means you can put it in automatic and you don't have to shift at all when you're cruising around town. You don't have to learn to... To, to, to work a clutch and uh, it's got paddles too so you can you can shift it will will up or down just with your left index finger and thumb so that's pretty hip I think think our, our, our 500 rebel we put on the scale it weighed 414 pounds this one's going to be be 70 80 pounds heavier than that but um it probably barely even matters because the seat's still really low it only 27 some inches high it's easy to get both feet flat on both sides of it. Pretty comfy riding position. Messed with my hip flexors a little bit this morning, but I kind of adjusted to it. The seat's pretty nice and plush. The suspension does the best that it can. Dual shocks out back don't have quite as much travel, but um, you know, for the style of bike this is, it rides much better than old hardtail ones did and better than most cruisers now. Well, you're probably wanting to know more than anything. Does it have the magic button, yes, there's cruise control right there. Uh, standard equipment. And uh, looks like a cruiser. It's a good sport bike, too. We were riding around curves all day, and it goes around corners very very well, too. It's got uh, adjustable traction control, things like that. What would you expect to pay? Uh, you can get a six-speed version of this for, for $92.99 with ABS traction control. Uh, if you if you want the DCT, and I think you do, it's $99.99. Uh, the Honda likes to say less than $10,000, and it is by, by, by $1. But um, yeah, I think if you're looking for kind of a, this style of a bike, and you kind of don't know what you want, uh, this thing really works well. It, it goes to like stink. You can pin, pin the thing, and it just shifts gears all by itself. Yeah, there's, there's not much not, not to like with this one. I don't know what we're going to compare it to, but we'll have to find something. But for now, it's a really fun thing to ride. goes great. It's one of the only bikes you can get with an automatic transmission, and it's got cruise control. I'm, I'm going to hop on it pretty soon, ride, ride back over the hill, hill to my house, and uh, I'm completely looking forward to it after riding the thing around all day. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything about it. Uh, we, we don't charge you a dime. See you next time.